Hello, this is uh, Duncan Foley and this is a uh, Flexim uh, tutorial um, tutorial booklet 7 for beginners. Uh, we'll be using Flexim um, 2020. Um, and uh, this is a basic ad tutorial in some respects but uh, introduces some quite nice concepts. So we're going to be having a, um, a source feeding a queue. And uh, then uh, we're going to ask the queue to use uh, transport and it's going to ask um, a dispatcher to send operator one or operator two to go to the queue. But it, um, the operators can only travel between these NN1, to NN2 to NN8. So they sort of, um, they're called network nodes. And they, that's the, the sort of path, the corridor that they can walk down. Imagine it being uh, in a factory and they can walk up and down these corridors and stuff. Um, so when it switches on, operator one will jump to straight to uh, NN2 and then it will go and pick up a box and go down this corridor. And this operator will go to NM5 and go up and down this corridor. Um, the only restrictions we've decided to do here is imagine this corridor only allows uh, people to be going in the same direction. Um, so if uh, one is already on, going uh, from um, across here, um, the other uh, the other operator will have to wait and then uh, when they go past each other then it can carry on if they, they both can travel in the same direction but not cross each other and so what this does is introduces uh, something called a traffic controller as well and we're go going to use the unlimited traffic nodes option and we're going to set the limits between nn2 and nm5 which are here and then two and then five depending on how you how, uh, how you bring these network nodes into the room you might have a different numbering system uh, here so let's have a look so we're going to do some network nodes and uh, we're going to be joining um, the dispatcher up using an S key and uh, the uh, the processors and stuff are really just there to to to, to uh, add to the scene a little bit, but they don't do much. We're going to accept the default settings. Okay, uh, so that is uh, an introduction to the module uh, tutorial. Uh, let's move over to Flexim and uh, do the tutorial. Okay, we're in Flexim. Uh, we're going to change uh, seconds to minutes and say okay. Then we're going to bring in a source, a queue, three more queues here, here, and here, and then a processor. And then we can put in a, uh, another queue here. You can put a sync in here for, um, if you so wished. Uh, let's just zoom out a little bit. I'm going to join them up using an A key. Remember, it's directional, so you've got to go from the source to the queue, uh, and then uh, from the queue one to queue two, the processor and down, and do the other two processors. Okay, and. Let's look at the network nodes now. So I'm going to put network node one close to the queue. I'm going to hold down F key and put network node two just a little bit away from it. I'm going to put uh, network three just near the queue two and then one a little bit closer. So that's network node four, network node five, network node six, network node seven, and network node eight. Now you notice these are just little black dots and stuff and uh, they, they haven't got the names showing. Uh, I'm just gonna right click on each one, edit and uh, show name. You can just see the names. Okay, so we've got all of them created. Um, I'm going to join uh, the queue to network node one. Network node one to network node two, network node two to five, five to three, 
and then to four, and then four to the Q, then five to six, and then to the Q, then five to seven, and then to eight, and then to the Q. Okay, uh, now we know we're going to use um, two operators, so we need a dispatcher, so let's bring a dispatcher in and bring one operator nearer to network node two, and I'm going to bring the other one nearer to network node five. I'm going to change the color of this uh, person. I could do it here. Actually, I might as well do it here. Let's do it there. Okay, so we can spot the difference. Uh, we connect the uh, dispatcher using an S key, and we connect the dispatcher to the operator's uses an A key. Okay. And now what we need to do is connect um, the operators to network node 2 and network node 5. So I'm going to use an, um, an A key. So it's network node 2 to 5. Network, sorry, network node to operator 1 and network 5 to the operator. Oh. Okay, now we need the traffic light. You can put this anywhere. Controller. Uh, uh, actually, we'll move it a little bit because we have to connect it. And uh, we'll connect it using an A key from network node 2 to the controller. Network node, uh, oh, not that one. Network node 5 to the controller. Oh. Okay, so let's double click this. And we want to uh, change uh, from the uh, mutual exclusive to unlimited. Um, and then we want two, because we've got two conditions. Uh, one is, uh, just put two there, two there. Now I want you to notice uh, the difference between the two twos, very important. And what's happened here is uh, the first one's absolutely correct. Um, it's uh, formatted to the right. Uh, the next one is formatted to the left. So uh, what's happened is for some unknown reason, uh, Flexim is saying that the, the first one, uh, sorry, the second one was text rather than number. So what I've done is use copy and paste uh, to force the issue. Um, it happens all the time, that, so just be aware of it. Um, and then the issue is with uh, network node 2 to network node 5. And then uh, we're going the opposite way, so network node 5. Oh. Network node 5 to network node 2. Just get that right. Okay. Put a zero in there. Okay. So let's apply that and say OK. Uh, let's just check we've got transport, use transporter here. For flow, use transport, uh, currently set as first available. Let's um, set it to round robin if available. So we want both operators to be called up. Let's check the source and just change that to uh, exponential 2. Two. Okay, so what's happened there? What's happened there? What was that? I think I might have accidentally created something. Um, right, let's uh, reset and run. So after two units, we should have a box. Uh, let's just crank it down. Um, oh, just uh, something's gone awry there. Uh, a travel request destination is not reached from the network. Um, so uh, recheck your connections and run the model again. So there's an issue with the operator destination Q1. So it's just okay that. Okay, um, another problem is I've not connected uh, network one and two together. So let's just do that. Reset. Just zoom out a little bit. Reset and run. So I should get to two, box should appear. Uh, request.
request uh, was made for a connection with no uh, table entry. So um, let's just say OK to that. So it looks like I've got an issue with the uh, traffic controller. OK, the issue was I'd put a, a, a zero in there and it should be left alone. So it's apply. OK. Reset and run. So uh, the operators are moving. You can see that operator, the second operator is moving down the corridor. It's just speeding it up a little bit. And just, yeah, absolutely fine. Wait, they're both waiting for box, first box. And goes down. It's gonna, and what happens now is this operator is going down here. This should get the controller information and wait here because this corridor is only wide enough for one uh, person. So, so it waits, and and you can see now that they are traveling uh, along the same corridor because they're going in the same direction, which is fine. So it waits and then carries on and waits for another box. And you can see what's happening here is um, these queues I'm using as a buffer for the process. If we didn't have these queues, what would happen is uh, the operators would wait at NM1 while uh, when uh, processors 1, 2, and 3 were busy. Um, I'm using the, these uh, queues here as a little bit of a buffer because it's taking them a certain amount of time to travel down these, these corridors and stuff. And uh, the queues aren't filling up. It's filling up a little bit there. And uh, it tends to be one or two in there, but it's not too full. So uh, it, like I said, without those um, queues, we'd end up with the, the operators sitting at M1 until one with three. And then you get the waste of time of uh, then setting off. Um, which is not ideal. Okay, so um, quite a nice little uh, traveling uh, problem there. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for listening.